it's time I showed some love to the much maligned 4.6 liter two valve. The 4.6 liter two valve gets a bad rap and maybe some of it is justified. But the reality is I think they made more 4.6 liter two valves than they made four valves, three valves and coyotes combined. Now if those stats aren't right, make sure to make a comment. But if you're gonna make a comment, I wanna see actual Ford production data that shows me that they made more of those three than the 4.6 liter two valve. Now remember, they didn't just use it in the Mustang, they used it in a ton of stuff, trucks and other full size cars. And they used that 4.6 liter two valve for a long time. So let me know in the comments, did they make more two valves or more of the three valve, four valve and coyote? Let me know. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make more power from a 4.6 liter two valve. In fact, we started with the least powerful combination of all, an early non-PI version, but we upgraded it to PI. We also added a Vortex supercharger. That's right, I'm gonna break some myths here because back in the day, everyone told us you can't make more than 400 horsepower, which is kind of ridiculous, with a stock two valve mod motor because the rods will break. Guess what, I'm here to tell you, that's not true. I don't know what the ultimate limit is and maybe I should find out, but I can tell you this, it's a lot higher than 400 horsepower. So let's get going. To get things started on our 4.6 liter two valve test, we actually selected a non-PI version. Now you might be wondering why would we select a non-PI version over the more powerful PI version, but there's a method to our madness. The reason that we did that is because when you install PI heads on a non-PI short block, you end up with more compression than either the non-PI or the PI version, the standard versions. That's because of the chamber difference between the cylinder heads. So adding, like we did, ported heads, a cam and intake, from a PI motor to a non-PI motor, you end up with a more powerful combination because of the extra compression, which is awesome. So if you take a look at the test we did back in part one of this, and I'll go ahead and put a link up right here, check out that video. We ran this stock motor and then we did the cylinder head cam and intake upgrade on it. And we did the power on that and we also did nitrous on that. So if you want to check that out, take, take a look. But when we ran our 1998 non-PI motor, we ran it with long tube headers and it produced 260 horsepower and 341, 342 foot pounds of torque. As you can see, it was designed to make peak power pretty early in the curve. <laughs> this thing was torquey and disappointingly so for an overhead cam motor, we were, we were hoping for big things after switching over from the five liter to this 4.6 liter two valve. But here's what happened after we did our cylinder head cam and up intake upgrade. Now we installed, you see big gains. We, we picked up, we made, picked up to 407 horsepower and 390 three foot pounds of torque. And that's after we installed basically ported PI heads from Total Engine Airflow and a matching PI intake with an AccuFab throttle body and elbow and then a set of comp cams. The comp cams were the 274 cams and they were non-PI cams. You can run either non-PI or PI cams in these heads, it's not a big deal. The non-PI ones just have the lower lift value. And th these are the power gains from our cylinder head cam and intake upgrade on our naturally aspirated motor. And what we liked about this is it gave us a much better starting point once we added boost. And I got a little surprise for the guys that are actually watching this video because we're going to do a little bonus test for you in the form of a Kenny Bell supercharger. That's right, we're not just going to run a Vortex supercharger, we're actually going to run a Kenny Bell supercharger. It won't be a direct test between the two superchargers because we ran them at different times and we ran them at different boost levels and stuff. But it should show you, if you want to choose either one of them, we'll show you what both of them do. So let's check out the results from the Kenny Bell supercharger test. Okay, after running our naturally aspirated hybrid non-PI PI motor, it was time to add some muscle to our 4.6 two valve. It's getting late. So we're gonna upgrade this thing with a Kenny Bell supercharger. Now, this was done quite a few years back. And this was actually a small Kenny Bell supercharger. It was a 2.1 liter but it was intercooled and we ran it on our modified 4.6 liter two valve with the ported PI heads and camshaft. Obviously we removed the PI intake manifold. Here's what happened when we upgraded this stuff with the Kenny Bell. Run it nine pounds of boost. Our Kenny Bell supercharger improved the power output to 580 horsepower. As you can see, torque curve. 
it's not really a curb, <laughs> it's a torque plateau. It's nice and flat. But if we pick out one of these random numbers where there's a peak, it's 513. Look, this is 514. This one's 513. This one's 514. This one's 513.7. This one's 512.8. Ooh, it's way down there. It's down by one whole foot pound. As you can see, these things make a nice flat torque curve, and this thing made plenty of power. But we didn't stop there. We did what everybody else does when they put a supercharger or a turbo on. We upped the boost, not by much, just but by a pound or so. I think we had a peak of 10 pounds. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit more than maybe 10 and a half pounds. It picked up almost 30 horsepower, which was good, but we were able to exceed 600 horsepower, 602, 603 horsepower, and there's plenty more left because we had more pulleys that we could run. This thing would definitely um, spin up and make more power. We weren't trying to maximize the output, but let me see if we made some notes on oh yeah our pulley combination was a two and three quarter blower pulley and a six and a half inch crank pulley when we had the nine pound one it was two and seven eighths and the six and a half so a good pulley combination we made good power with this combination and adding a blower obviously as it always does especially the kenny bell uh, worked really well on this 462 bell that's a good combination if you have a 600 horsepower two bell back in the day i mean you had more power than an 03 cobra did this thing would work pretty well now let's take a look and see what happened when we installed the Vortex supercharger on our 4.6 liter. After running a Kenny Bell supercharger, we took the opportunity, Vortex sent us a supercharger with their air to water after cooler and the Kenny Bell supercharger on the previous one also had the air to water inner cooler. On both cases, we ran dyno water, so it was about 80 degrees or so running through there. And we didn't run a lot of boosts, as you said, on last time we were running about 10 pounds. But here's our naturally aspirated 4.6 liter two valve, making 400 horsepower, 393 foot pounds. Here's what happened when we installed the Vortex supercharger. And this was, uh, I think, an SI trim. Here is our Vortex. And as you can see, typical for the centrifugal supercharger, we had a rising power curve because we also had a rising boost curve. And peak boost happened at peak RPM out here at 6100 we didn't run it any hard any higher than that we started getting into some um, belt slippage issues there too because the supercharger would definitely make more i mean it's it's coming up pretty hard right there and we could continue to make power with more rpm but we were already at 625 horsepower and our peak torque was at 547 foot pounds of torque you can see uh this thing made this thing made really good power while we had this on the dyno though, we actually took the opportunity to do another test. We wanted to find out how much power cams were worth on a boosted application. So what we did was stick stock cams back in this motor. We replaced the comp cams, the, the 274 cams that we had put in. And so we installed a set of stock cams with the blower. Now we didn't do this NA unfortunately. All, all I did was do this test with the supercharger installed. So here's what happened after we installed stock cams back in. You can see <laughs> as a comparison the red is the stock cam and the green is the uh, comp cams and the blue down here. And I know the colors change and I, and I apologize for that. That's part of the software. That's part of this uh, Superflow Windine software. It happens every time we change that, but you should be able to figure that out. I mean, the stock cams obviously made a lot less power than the comp cams did under boost. I mean, the, the stock cam made 550 horsepower and the comp cams with the blower made 625 horsepower. So it was a pretty big jump in power from the change in camshaft. And it just goes to show you that the blower doesn't do everything. It wants a good motor to start with, which is why when we started all of this, that we installed a set of ported heads cam, and, and in this case, good intake, because when we installed the Vortec on it, we put the PI intake back on it, because with the Vortec, you're blowing through the factory intake. So this all worked very well, but it just goes to show you that you don't, <laughs> that the on these stock connecting rods, 400 horsepower is nowhere near the limit of the factory connecting rod. In fact, I don't know what that is, and I kind of would like to find out. I may, maybe I need to do a big bang version of a 4.6 liter two valve. They're pretty cheap and they're easy to find. And if we put ported heads on it, and cams on it, and we can get it to make 400 horsepower, 
we can get it into four digit uh, levels pretty quickly, especially with turbo stuff. So that might be something to think about. Let's uh, get to our conclusion. So what do you think? What do you think about the results of our 4.6 liter two valve performance upgrades? Now sure, 400 horsepower from an NA combination is not LS power and it's not Coyote power, but that's not the point. You see a 4.6 liter two valve starts out with considerably less power. Think about it as a five liter Mustang engine, you know, the early OG five liter stuff. Now, all we wanted to do was improve the power of what's there, because a two valve guy doesn't care that he doesn't make as much power as an LS or a Coyote. Those things are really kind of out of his league, but a 4.6 valve, that guy wants to make more power. Whatever he had, he just wants more. Adding like PI heads, cams, and a PI intake to a non-PI motor, or even to a PI motor if you had ported heads, you're gonna get more power. But the best thing for a 4.6 liter two valve motor is boost. That Vortex supercharger added just that, but you can also do it with other blowers and a turbo. Maybe we'll take a look at that later on. I'm Richard Holder, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff, I'll keep the videos coming.